this little piggy and this little piggy went to market. Well, actually they're not so little anymore. Hey everybody, this is Jeff from the Great Heights and Barely Controlled Chaos. I just want to give you an update about what's been going on. Um, as I said a couple of times, our baby, or we had a baby in the NICU. We had a baby. Um, he was in the NICU for a while. And daughter number two, Abby, is holding him right now. Look how beautiful he is. He's finally home. Um, so our... <laughs> and apparently he really wants to feed the piggies, which is what we're going to do next, but... As I was saying, he's finally home, so we're happy, right? Baby! Yeah, and Abby loves holding him. Um, if she was older, secret. Baby! If she was older. You're playing this on YouTube. This is a secret. <laughs> if she was older, he, she would be his godparent, but she's not old enough. So, anyway. Um, so, anyway, that's, that's where we are. I just wanted to let you know. That the baby is home and safe. Mom and the baby are both doing well. And so maybe, maybe, just maybe, little chance, uh, we'll start getting back to somewhat normal life. Probably not. <laughs> right? Probably not. All right. Today, we do something new. This little piggy and this little piggy Went to market. Well, actually, they're not so little anymore. And this little piggy and that little piggy stayed home. All right, so today we're getting the truck ready here. Um, Liam is doing his, <clears throat> he's gonna put the back rail back on here. And then, uh, well, he's not gonna do it right now. He's gonna put it up there, measure it, and uh, get it ready to go and then we're gonna get the, the pigs up in there and then we'll close it and we'll, we'll put a tarp over the top and then uh, hopefully that will <clears throat> be enough to hold them in. It's only an hour drive so hopefully that'll be good. I'm gonna go out right now actually <clears throat> set up some fencing so that we can get uh, angled there. We're gonna put them through the, the what used to be the goat barn before we got rid of our goat. And, uh, <clears throat> have the truck backed up right up to it. And where are they? This is always concerning when I can't find them. Are they actually in the barn? Holy cow. That'd be amazing. That would mean I don't have to horse them into the barn. Let's go find out, shall we? <clears throat> they are. Actually in here. That is amazing. Hello, pigs. Hello. Wow, something went well. So they they were already in here. Which makes life so much easier. Hey you, huh? hey you, yeah, you ready? This is gonna be fun today, it's gonna be so much fun. So I am gonna set up a piece of fencing uh, that goes through here. I'm gonna make sure that both of these stalls are locked right now. And then uh, that'll keep them away from all that stuff over there. Uh, but we'll have the fencing come up here. We'll back the truck right up to the door and uh, we'll put the ramps in. Hopefully, this will go really smoothly. Um, but as you know, that doesn't ever happen. We got one in, and we're trying to get this one corralled. They are definitely nervous. They don't like getting in the truck. They don't like being cooped up. Okay. Come on, baby. We're trying to do this as humanely and nicely as possible. It does require some force a little bit here and there. Come on, piggy. Come on, 
it was a lot of work. The last one, we basically had to pick up with a couple of, with a toe strap, like, I don't know, lifted into the back of the truck. It took us about an hour and a half to get two pigs in the truck. We gotta figure out a better way to do this. First one wasn't that much trouble. Yeah, the second one was just, she's never any good. But yeah, so that's, we got them up there. We're on our way now. It's about an hour left to gun drive. And then hopefully we can get them unloaded into their truck or their trailer pretty quick and then off to the butcher tomorrow, so. Yeah. That's that. Yeah, that's that. After a uh, fun morning of moving these guys in here, we're finally at the farm where we're going to drop them off. This guy's trailer. Just waiting for him to come up out of this field so that we can uh, we can do that. And then we'll uh, head back home. Say goodbye to the pigs. Bye, pigs. Alrighty, so I don't know if you can tell or not, but there are no more pigs back there. There are no more pigs. No more pigs. Actually, we do have the two little pigs at home. That we're gonna breed. I'm with smaller pigs now. That was, oh, okay, that was, that was no fun. Especially when they got out. But it was no fun. Today was just, yeah, it's cold and it's wet and muddy. And pigs <laughs> threw me down on the ground a couple Continue of times. On Missouri, 413 south for one mile. And that's not a pig wrestler. It helps if you have it at least second. So yeah. does seem to be a rule with us. Nothing ever really goes smoothly. Came home from dropping the pigs off, which went pretty darn well after we got them in the truck. Um, and our little pigs, our new ones, are missing at the moment. I think they, <clears throat> I think one of the pieces of fencing that we were using as a, you know, to, as a shoot for the big pigs fell over onto the electric fence. And they were trying to get to the food and got shocked and it was, yeah, they wiggled underneath the fence. So I'm up looking in our neighbor's pasture. I suspect they're out in our woods. But since we've had pigs that got over here before, first thing to do is look in their pasture to see what I see. So the good news is that all we lost was time tromping through the woods because despite the fact that I couldn't see them when I got it back, they are in our pen. <clears throat> I'll go show you where we found them real quick. I was kind of starting to feel disappointed. We walked all the way through the woods. I couldn't see any signs of them or anything. We do have a couple of little small uh, wild pigs out there. And so we're difficult to distinguish between the wild pigs and the, the little ones, our little ones. But there you go, that's where they are. They were hiding underneath this, you get this old bathtub that they yanked out of the house before we moved in. And they, because it was raining, they were looking for someplace dry and warm. And they couldn't get into the barn because this piece of fencing was laying down and it was actually hitting the uh, <clears throat> the light, the line, uh, electric fence. So they went and hid underneath that bathtub. I couldn't see them, so. The good news is they are here and they're safe. And like I said, all we lost was a couple of minutes, you know, 30 minutes out in the woods looking for them. But, so our pig adventures for today are pretty much over. They're eating, they're happy. I'm going to try to get them 
tomorrow I'll worry about work on getting them back into the, the barn. I know that they're a little skittish about getting in there right now because again they were hit by the electric fence a couple of times. But <clears throat> for the most time part, they're back. Alright, so after that weekend of excitement, um, everything seems to have calmed down. These guys are doing pretty good. Uh, we are they still have not gone into the, the barn. I can't really blame them. Um, the, the fence was there. Um, the way that we had it set up before, if they tried to go in there, they would get shocked. Um, so they're still trying to explore it. I might have to kind of corral them in there at one point just so they can see that they can go in there because it is a little bit warmer and more protected from the environment. Um, but they keep going underneath the bathtub, so that's a good thing. Um, I guess that, you know, it keeps them warm and they can, you know, there's not a lot of space under there. So, it, you know, it allows them to, to get warm and, and all that good fun stuff. So, That's so cute. They've hollowed out underneath it. We also know that these are kind of more forage pigs than they are um, grain fed pigs. So the idea here is that we're not going to feed them as much grain. Obviously, considering their size, we don't have to feed them as much grain either. Um, but we're going to make sure that they get more forage. Um, this area, obviously, the other pigs cleared it out really well. Um, so there's not a lot left. I did go out. We have a lot of cedar on our property. Um, so I went out and uh, I had a tree that I took down a while ago. And I uh, <clears throat> threw all the, I, I delimbed it and threw the limbs in here. Whether or not they'll eat that or not, I don't know. But the goal is to take some of this area right there um, and extend the fence into that at least right now um, hopefully eventually we'll be able to put the electric line around the whole outside of our properties and let them go out there um, I see I foresee some small issues with that but <clears throat> hopefully we can we can get past that but right now they're pretty happy they're hanging out in the Sun up there and uh, everything is good so that was our adventure for the weekend, and that's uh, what's going on in our life at the moment. I do actually plan on doing more than just random videos. I, my goal over the next month is to spend some time talking about each of the animals that we have, what our plans are for them, and so we'll have one video on each of those. Um, I'm certainly not an expert on any of these animals, but uh, I am learning, and hopefully we can get uh, we can put together a program that talks about where I learned the stuff and what I've learned and um, our plans for the future. But anyway, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Um, <clears throat> make sure you subscribe below and um, ring the bell so that you know when we get next videos. And uh, share it with your friends because you never know. Somebody might really enjoy them. And until next time.